Hello, my name is Anders Johnson, and today I'm going to talk about the safest way to join Facebook. Now, I'm in my favorite browser, Google Chrome, and in the URL bar, I've typed in Facebook.com, so I'm going to hit Enter, and it'll bring me to the main Facebook.com page. Now, maybe I don't have a Facebook account, or I just want to join in a safer way. So I'm going to create an alter alias for myself called uh, Andy Johnson. If you don't have an email address, you're going to have to create one. Let's do that real quick. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'll just go to yahoo.com. Now I need to sign up for an, an account. Register here. So I'm just going to put in all my information. And then my Yahoo email ID can be something that's memorable. So maybe I'll do andyj12345. <laughs> and I'll just check that to make sure no one else has it. Looks like someone does, so I can do AndersJohnson84 at Yahoo.com. That's my full name. So AndersJohnson84 at Yahoo.com. I'll put in a password that I, easy, is easy to remember. And uh, then I just need to get this little code out of the way. Click Create Account. And it looks like they like a, an alternate email possibly and then secret questions. Now usually you should choose something that's easy to remember um, like what is your oldest child's nickname, what is the first name of your oldest niece, that kind of stuff, where did you spend your honeymoon, or my favorite is to type your question here. So for type your question here I can type um, what street did you grow up on and then I can put in Kathleen Drive and just make sure you remember the answer to these questions. And then, uh, let's see, another type question, let's see, can be, um, when did you get your first pet? And I can put in the answer of four. So I've done that. I put in the, uh, the CAPTCHA code and I can click create my account. Now, sometimes it takes a while, but point is, is that you can just create your own email account and then just jump back here and put in that email. My password, my gender, and my birthday. So now I'll click sign up and that's when it gets really interesting. I'm going to click sign up, another CAPTCHA comes up. You just key in those letters, and it's easy to it's easy to mess up, but you just got to try again. See, I messed up. I'm gonna put in bears on the. Sometimes they don't make any sense. Alrighty, so at this next page, once you've actually inputted your uh, basic information, step one is to find friends. Now. With your email address, Facebook can search through your contact list in order to help you find friends, which is what Facebook is all about. So it automatically will put in the email address that you just added. If you just created an email address, you may not have any contacts. And in a way, that's going to be safer because this way you will choose the friends that you first start out with on Facebook. So I'm not going to put any of that in. I can just click on find friends. It's going to come up. It's going to ask me if it will allow it to access google.com. I've already given it my email address, so I can click allow. It'll import my contacts. If it's a brand new email address, which we created at the beginning, well, there won't be any contacts for it to import. And that might that's better because, well, you haven't given it any contacts and you've connected to an account that you've just created. So it doesn't know anything about you yet. Now, let's see. It's allowing us to upload contacts, but because there are none, we can just click on this little skip this step link on the bottom right hand of the corner. We can click that, and now we can actually fill out our profile info. So you input the high school that you went to. So I can put in a Manchester High School, class ending year, and you can just put in your year if you want to. It may actually make you, if you've gone to a college or university, you can put that in, and if you're working somewhere, you can put that in. Keep in mind, when you're putting in this information, Facebook will save this. And that's not necessarily safe by some people's standards. In fact, the safest way to do this, once again, is to just click the skip button, bottom right hand side. So we're going to skip that. 
It's going to think about it, and then it will ask me if I know all these people. Now, if I do, and once again, Facebook's all about knowing your friends, I can click on a couple of them and add friend. In this case, we can just skip that. And then finally, you can upload a photo from your computer or take a photo with your webcam. If you want to be super safe about joining Facebook, you don't want to upload a photo at all, so just click skip again. Now this should drop you out at your main Facebook.com newsfeed and profile. So all you need to do now is start adding some friends by searching through on Facebook. So I can just type in um, my friend Jaron Foster that we know from other videos. I can just type his name up here and search for him here. He pops right up and I can click add friend. If he knows me, he'll friend me back. But right now I have a completely clean Facebook profile that's brand new and very secure. Finally, just make sure that your privacy settings are all locked down by clicking custom in the privacy settings box from the upper right hand drop down box and make sure that your visibility is set to only yourself and click save changes. Again, I got there by clicking the right upper right hand drop down arrow, clicking privacy settings, clicking custom, and then making sure that this is visible to only myself. I save those changes and then you can just edit the settings here to change what your privacy settings are. Make sure you go through and lock it down to just being you on Facebook. Then go find some friends and have a great time. My name's Anders Johnson and I've shown you how to make a secure account on Facebook.